Okay, everybody, this is the Video Games and Nonsense podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Chase Carter. That's Raymond Woods. <laughs> I don't know why I said your first name that time. I don't it's know. all right. Yeah. This is, a, this is a podcast where we talk about video games and mostly nonsense and what we've been playing lately. Um, we were just, we just started talking. We are talking about there's a Halo TV series coming out. Mm-hmm. And I was excited by it until I read that they're going to, they're <laughs> yeah. going to, I was really, really excited. I was um, reading it and it said, they're going to show the master chief like they've never shown him before. And I'm like, that's never a good thing because mm-hmm. if the creators of halo didn't want to show him in a certain way, why should you? And so they're going to show his face and he's going to be, a no one's going to like it. No one's going to no, not at all. Um, unless they somehow augment his voice to sound like the chief in, but people who don't watch halo might like, or play halo who might, might enjoy it. Cause they don't have any reference. But if you change too much about him, or if he's the central character, he's the central character in the games because um, you, you're the he's the person you play as. But he's not, but the the overall arching story, he's not technically like he's the. Uh, there's so much shit going on around him that doesn't pertain to him. Yeah, it's not the Master Chief's story. It's not him as a child being kidnapped or whatever. That would be an interesting show. Yeah, something like that. Then you can show his face, but him as the Master Chief, which is his rank. It's not even his name. It's his rank. Like, that's what he is, which is kind of weird because in the Navy, there's more than one. There's a whole bunch of Master Chiefs. So why do they call him Master Chief? That, like, that's that's how everyone talks. They they refer to him as, as his rank. But among Master Chiefs, they don't go, hey, Master Chief, Master Chief. They don't do that. But you've never ran into – there's no other Spartan – with the rank master chief, I don't. Why is he? His name's yeah. John. They call him John, but it's just kind of well, interesting. You, uh, go ahead. Well, you know what's funny is there's there's this. So you remember the fight scene between Spartan Locke and Master Chief in Halo Five? Yes, unfortunately, I remember. Yeah, <laughs> there is a uh, there's a YouTube depiction that's actually the 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 the, the graphics and of it, what they use and like the animations are actually really good. But it shows like it was like what 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 the fight would really look like. And it's just Master Chief shitting on all of them. And it's like the heat, like they go overboard with like the, like some of the moves and the attacks. But it's like, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. It wouldn't well, be, I, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a thought. It wouldn't be a chance. Like it's not. And I'm like, that's what I, that, that's why I think that's why a lot of people really didn't like Halo Five, the at least the storyline. I like, I did like, you know, certain parts of it. Uh, my favorite was like Cortana going nuts, and then the Guardians, and like, cause they kind of answered the like, cause you know, and all the and the other Halos you go out of bounds you were killed by the guardians and everyone, everyone everyone what the fuck are the guardians and so that you know so that's that was cool but then it was just like i don't know I mean, and then i mean there's speculation that master chief was holding back and all this stuff and i'm like well of course, well but it was just it's just really funny that that they had like someone was like why don't we just you know spend some quality time you know showing what have really happened they probably spent yeah, you know weeks making it <laughs> And I, I was like, always yeah. like when uh, the um, the fans, the hardcore fans, they break down. Say it'd be comic books. What would happen if Superman actually fought? And they get really, really nerdy into. No, you know, yeah, the, the, j- but just that's using what makes that. It fun. That's what yeah, makes yeah. It fun. Just you making an example, or just you using that as an example. I saw that. I think it was like a TikTok. One guy, he was like, "If Superman were to really fight Batman, Batman would lose." <laughs> He was like, he would lose. It, it's not, it's like, no, 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 there's no, 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 there's, there's nothing. No, there's no, he would be obliterated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, there's no, it, it, it's so funny. Cause like you, you, you really like, no one's has, no one has ever really, I mean, we all know it, but no one has really ever said it, especially since, you know, uh, Batman versus Superman, Batman beat the shit out of Superman. And everyone's like, well, you, because and <laughs> if, if Superman was holding back all of his, um, my and was just trying to like prove to Batman like in a in a friendly a comp- like a sparring contest and then Batman pulls a trick and you know surprises him or whatever and then has him down that'd be the only way yeah like if Superman touched Batman it'd be over I don't care if he touches with the powers that they give him of course there's different versions of Superman so you, you can make Superman closer to I don't know human but then how can he fly at the you know at, as fast you know beating the speed of sound or whatever, breaking the speed of sound and then land on the ground and then have not have his bones just become mush because like, that's what the whole but, argument is. Like he has to be so much stronger 
than everybody else to even take the forces that he flies with or hits with. Like, it's well, yeah, not- and it's just, it's just, uh, and then, cause then, and then, you know, and, uh, um, cause I know you saw the four hour version of, uh, Zack Snyder's, um, Justice yeah, yeah. League. It, 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 it was yeah, good. That was, but so he takes on all of them, but then Batman comes and he's like, easy. You're like, well, okay. Like if he had kryptonite, I understood. And then if, Superman knew if he didn't know he had Krypton, but like that trick only works once or twice. Yeah. Like before you get close to him with Kryptonite, zzz, you're dead. Yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. not, cause that's the whole I don't and know, then, point. Yeah, there's, there's also the version of uh, Superman where if I remember correctly, Lois Lane dies and Superman goes into the sun for 15,000 years. <laughs> and then he comes out and he's pure gold. And it's like Superman like Superman uh, 1 million prime or something like that prime one one I can't remember specifically yeah but so he is like harnessing all of that energy the yeah whole so yeah he's basically he's basically like he, he's omnipotent he's you know you know omni whatever you know he's all just these charging up yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know like <laughs> over it's, and it's over and like, over. They, like they show pictures of him and like he, he has so much power he literally gives part of his power to other superheroes I was like so what? he's the what? he's the orb in destiny. He's the giant floating orb in this giving. There you go. Basically, there you go. like I, I, that was that was crazy. I was like, what? What do you what? That that there's a whole that bunch part. of really cool con- like they they in the movies they could never there's a never ending supply of stories you can tell with those comic book characters. But trying know, to get back yeah. trying, trying yeah. to get back to Halo. 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 Um, yeah. Halo, otherwise Halo, we're gonna be Halo, Halo, Halo. I'm very excited about Halo Infinite. Um, seeing the multiplayer. It looks very, very good, and it looks like Halo. Um, but the, the, and then I want and, and watching the uh, or listening. I've been listening to podcasts that review the books because I was going to go over the like I said before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to. I don't want to buy all the books again. I don't want to get them again. I bought like four or five of them, read them. I want to go over review them in an hour long podcast. I, I don't want to spend you know weeks reading a book knowing my dumbass um, and how slowly I read. Um, but it was cool because you were talking about um, Master Chief holding back. And in the book, yeah. uh, Fall of Reach, they talk about him coming up and how he fought ODST member. Like when he was a child, he was indoctrinated to oh, the yeah. UNSC way of life. And he didn't know, obviously, like killing was bad. He was just the mission. And that was it. So like, what does he have to do? Like That's these right. ODST. ODST people That's were right. like I remember bullying reading him. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were bullying he was like him. fighting and like it was it. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry to cut you off. They, no problem, no problem. The setting was he was in a uh, like not like a not training? a gym. Yeah, like yeah, a like, training yeah. area. And weren't the weren't the like the those the other ODST members? They were they were sent to him or something like that, or he was sent. You find out later that it was Halsey, the lady overlooking yeah, the farm yeah, yeah, program, yeah, yeah. and somebody else. But at the at from. The fall of Reach's point of view, it just looked like two people bullying him, but they were actually sent That's in right. to That's test right. him. And he, he like, like I can't. Yeah, they described like he basically almost killed him. No, no, he killed those two people. He, oh, he did. He, oh, 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 yeah, he killed those ODS team. And then he, he got cha- he got uh, challenged again, and then he um, brutally injured them, but he held back a little bit because he doesn't mm. have hu- really humanity because he all of that. Yeah, all he was taken from it as a child. Yeah. Ta- he just knows what's the mission. You want me to do this? Okay, cool. Because even then, when he was being challenged by those ODST, I think he, what I remember in the podcast hearing, like he asked his superior, like, "What do I do here?" And he's like, "You know, take care. You know, defend yourself. Yeah, yeah, d- defend yourself. Take care of them where they're not a threat anymore. Are, th- are they threats?" And he goes, "Yeah, we'll take care of the threat." Mm-hmm. And he just obliterated them. But then, as he go, as he um, progresses, he learns a little bit more about humanity, and the way he does it, more like the biggest switch, I guess, is Cortana. When he, because Cortana is programmed mm-hmm. to be more human and have compassion and feelings and all those other things. And that's where he, the more he's exposed to Cortana, which is actually really, really, cool. it's kind of a cool concept. AI this, unit is teaching a humans. human being yeah, because, how to be human. because the only humans that have been in contact with him have made him a robotic military, basically a robot. And then so when he gets introduced to Cortana and she kind of shows him compassion and he actually cares about her. In, in a in a way that he's never really experienced any kind of like compassion or whatever, and then he learns through uh, different training because he was always the first, he was always the winner, he was always first place and everything because of a, the competition. Um, he they had some team exercise 
in the in the book where he came in first, but his team members finished last because he left. Mm-hmm. He he mm-hmm. just went through the obstacle course or whatever, so he lost. So that's when he learned. Okay, it's not about me; it's about the team, and that's a, it. It kind of um, it shapes how you meet the Master Chief in the first Halo, and then yeah, in the first Halo. It, yeah, it, I just don't understand. I don't know, obviously, what time period the TV series is going to be, but if they have the Master Chief as the main character, um, kind of like the Mandalorian, yeah, and like where they, you can have a helm a helmeted character be the have him be in that helmet. That show proved. I don't know if you've seen that show. Have oh yeah, it? yeah, uh, yeah. I finished. Really, it. really good. Yeah. Um, it proved that you can have a helmeted character be the main person, and you don't have to see his lips moving or whatever to like care about him. Um, so I'm wondering if they're going to do it as well as that. The one show that proved you can do it. Well, you know what's funny though is because they talk about Jedi in the Mandalorian, and they're like. They're I wouldn't say like gods, but they're they're like they're 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 so good they're almost like legend. Yeah, well, because they're, they're really like rare. They're just yeah. rumor at this point because yeah. they've all been killed and they're all most of them or all of them are in hiding. So that's but it's interesting. Like, I'm just wondering about, about taking off the helmet and you seeing the Master Chief. Yeah, and he's supposed to be pale. He's, he's supposed to never like really be out in the sun. He's supposed to have really pale skin. He's supposed to be scarred up from all the augmentations he's been going under. And then the actor, I don't know who they have playing him and then is he yes, gonna be good and then he's yeah. supposed to be seven to eight feet tall yeah the master chiefs is he gonna be that tall so there's all these little things that are, i'm not a huge like halo nerd i don't know everything about but i know enough to where it's like i, I want the master chief and i don't want to see his face i want the master chief's voice to be the the guy in the from the yeah, game because yeah, that's yeah. easily to do because he has a helmet on so i'm just wondering if it's gonna pull me out or am i gonna just be happy that I'm getting anything Halo because there was supposed to be like a Peter Jackson movie and all of these different things have been canceled. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And it, yeah, whatever. it was just really so, weird. I don't know why they didn't make a uh, – they never made a Halo movie or just a Halo show, especially when like Halo was so big back then, man. Yeah. But now it's, with Netflix and HBO and – Yeah, it's know, a lot easier. Paramount Plus, you can find – like I don't need a huge, gigantic – you know, sci-fi Halo no. store. Just give me something little. Give me like a Spartan we don't really know about. You know. Well, and some, it was just and it would, what I like a uh, Neil Blomkamp. If that's how you fucking say his name, the one who he I, th- I think he was I know I, I think he directed District Nine or part of it or whatever. Remember yeah. movie District Nine? But Neil Blomkamp, where he did that the short videos of the Marines and they were they were fighting and then they were because they were fighting in the area and what they had to do is they had to get. Master Chief's um, coordinates because he was falling back to Earth. I can't remember now. I can't even remember why. Well, he just falls. He did buy well, himself. Well, yeah, he was on a suit. ship. I think he was on. Uh, one, I can't. I'd have to. I'd have to go back. But it was. Uh, I think it was around like Halo Three time. Do you remember those? Those little. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember the br- like the the brute sh- like the the like the little the spike. Machines. Yeah. The, yeah, the spikes was, hitting the walls. Like yeah, tick 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 tick. Yeah, but it was just cool because you you see like that's from the, and Neil Blomkamp genius. He did it from the Marines' perspective, and like how yeah. big the brutes are to Marines. But then you have Master Chief, who you know can take on all of them. You know the brutes, like multiple brutes, brutes at once. And it's, yeah, so it's, and like he he's able to physically fight them, and that, yeah, that's yeah. what he physically fights. Yeah, hand like to elite. Hand. Yeah, hand to hand combat, and so we're. ODSTs and all of I don't know if ODSTs can fight. Probably not. I know they're, I, I know they're augmented, but I know they can't obviously fight. Like, but they're I think they're like a match because I, in the book they say that the humans do really well on the ground, like when it comes to, um, like firefighting and all of those tactics, they do really well. But they're so outmatched in space that the space battles just they get obliterated. So that's where mm. they're losing the that's war and blah 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 and all that other stuff. So but I'm just wondering, what are they going to do? I'm curious. Of course I'm going to watch. You put Halo really on anything, I'm going to watch it. It's just like a Marvel movie. I'm going to go watch all the Marvel movies. You make a Jurassic Park movie, I'm going to go see it. Unless yeah. they bastardize it somehow. Yeah, just make it. <laughs> yeah. And then I, then, then I just check out, and I'm like, I'm done. I'm done. But, well, there is there is one thing I do want to talk about. It's actually coming out fairly I think it's on August uh, 24th, is that, that, new, um, that new Aliens game. Aliens Fire Team, I think it is. Yeah, I saw the preview to that. That looks really good. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be really interesting. There's a lot of people who've had a lot of, you know, uh, IGN hands-on previews and stuff like that. People, they're saying it's really good. They're saying finally, 
Fucking finally! Man, I look I like I like I like Isolation was good. I've been meaning to play Isolation. I heard well, Isolation. Well, yeah, but really Isolation good. that's more of a horror game. Like which is it's not it's not a bad idea. That's a great idea of, you know, yeah. aliens horror. And they need to do that yes. with with Halo and like have it have you're a marine and you're stuck in a place with the flood. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's just real real simple. But and I'm pretty sure it's coming out on Games Pass. Aliens Fire Team because that that's going to be really? that's going to be yeah, I'm pretty sure it's coming out on Games Pass. I'd have to double check, but but yeah, because and it's uh, it's it's uh, it's just three. It's a team of three, um, and each you know like you have different classes, and each class has like different. Like you can have like uh, I think one of them you get like a flamethrower, and then like a uh, um, like one is like a like heavy weapons kind of whatever, and then mm-hmm. a, another one you can put down turrets and like shock traps and shit like that. And there's different xenomorph types of xenomorphs. Like they have like spitters that spit acid at you. Like the and then you have the drones that just come and you know. Just try to yeah. physically get you. Yeah, and they, they, the, the people, uh, people at IGN were saying like they got the, the weapon sound spot on. They have the smart rifle like where it was attached to their, their body and just brr, 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 like all that. And I'm like, and just aims itself pretty much. And the, I saw something where they're even putting like the Promethe- Prometheus movies in there to where it's like those gray people. Have you ever seen those movies or no? No, yeah, I saw Prometheus, but I didn't know they were putting. I know they were putting like the androids in there, which is. Really cool. Yeah, well, like you see the big, um, the people that like came before humans, yeah, 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 yeah. before humans, and they the engineers. The I think that's what they were called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and so um, they have them like the, their statues, and then you know like those um, anonymous workers that like yeah. walk around and actually do like they come and attack you, and then um, and I think some of them have rifles, so it becomes this, which is really which just in this preview is really cool. And that the, the previewer, previewer noticed it on IGN. So when you're being attacked by all the aliens, xenomorphs and all that stuff, yep. it's whatever ground you took, you kind of fall back, kill the wave, and then yeah. progress forward. More spawn, more come out, and you progress. But when you fight those human char- human-like characters, yeah, yeah. you get into cover now because you're being shot at. So it becomes a cover-based third-person shooter. So yes, there, right. you have two different types of games in one. And just that mixture of gameplay... Can it, just, add so it, it, just, much. it just freshens it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, okay, that. that's and you know, I gotta say, I mean, I know this is late, but Prometheus, man, I did not like. I, I don't know why. It was just so like it, it was it, for me at least. It was so poorly thought through. Oh, how humans came. Oh, the engineer drank some bad black shit and then died and fell into some water, and then the water just kind of. Fit. So they're not engineers. They didn't engineer us. They they just their their DNA mixed in with some water, and then the water magically figured it out, and then we became. They're not, then they're not engineers. They're not engineers. They didn't engineer us. That was that like did he know like I don't. That's what I don't like. That's what I really don't like about Prometheus. They're very vague. It, it, it's well, really the weird. They, some people like that vagueness, and it lets the um, the viewer. Kind of figure it out, but, but like, but, but if, if figure you, what if, out, like figure what out. <laughs> if you if you were on that level, I'm guessing he knew what he was doing. So like he, he was he the last knew. of his kind, right? Life is gonna. Well, no, I, I mean it, he knew if like if he took that or whatever, whatever that was, that poison, and it just basically crumbled all of his cells and it went into the water. That later, you know, life would be would life would continue, but I don't know what if he knew. I, I just he, like I, I don't know. Just think about like think about how much cooler it would have been if like they had like the engineers had a planet and like just this like the like say I don't know you can go part of the planet or in the entire planet was just it was like an like a base where it was just it was just huge massive machines that they created that was just that and like that's what was creating DNA like they created DNA themselves like say like this for instance like they're a, they're a, they're they're a higher being. But they're still like uh, in a, with a physical form, um, or so say like have to have DNA already in them, so they would have to. No, no, no. I know that's what I'm saying. That's understand. what I'm saying. So say like, so we'll say this. Say like they're they uh, they could they this is just okay. I'm just imagination. Say like uh, oh, say like they were they were spiritual beings, but then they now I'm not saying like God or angels, but they were just you know some sort of spiritual entity, and in order for them to to create. They say like they wanted to create other life or whatever. They could have like you could just go with a, a reasoning. Like say like it's a reason for you know they just wanted to create like slaves or whatever or like whatever. 
and but then like the the machine like the dna like you could add evolution and the dna kind of figured out and it just built up on it and then it just grew into something else and then human hu humanity you know went you know just overpopulated and then we we overpopulated them and then killed them and they went back to but so, so they're, they're they're different entities but then they they just created themselves in a physical form to create like fuck like create like come on like come, that's so much better than Ugh, now there's humans what what do you, what do you what like come on like well there are there are more movies that explain it's not just prometheus there was a uh, there was a, like one or two other ones that go over and explain it better it's there was that I'll one have movie to, i'll have to look yeah, into I'll, that because that was I'll, real I'll real frustrating i'm like okay well they're not Re because like they're tr they're trying to explain which is really cool it came out and i don't think anyone really knew that it was like it was explaining the aliens movies it was just another movie mm -hmm. it was like a sci-fi movie and then you find out prequel later to the aliens it's yeah. connected to it yeah but th they've had multiple uh, movies that explain the engineers and all of those other things so i'm, I'm wondering because i've only seen them once and so i'm gonna obviously have to go on youtube now and then there's no like there's no explanation like they they find the engineer and he just starts killing everyone why why did he kill everyone why why are they aggressive like that like there's just there's so many questions that were never answered and it's and there's no reason to not answer those questions well, so like you watch dumb. the next. I'm guessing. So you watch the next movie. I mean, you have to. I did, you have to have but leave, it was. You have to leave something to question. Well, so of just, course, of course, but it, yeah. but it's just like the initial question because when you go into that movie, you're like, like I understand, like over a period of time, but it's like you want to answer one or two questions, like, oh, okay, that makes sense, like, like so have something all like awe inspiring. There's nothing awe inspiring about that movie. There's nothing like, holy shit, that's insane. That's fucking insane. It was just like, oh, okay. Every, yeah, everyone who really saw that movie was like, I don't really like, remember because they woke up one okay. of them. Yeah. And I, I don't know if he wanted to get out of there or he wanted to survive. I don't really understand. I, I don't remember. But there, it does make sense that they don't explain their motives because they're a higher, basically a higher being. So how would they explain? That's what, what I'm mean? saying. You, you, could, you could give an answer, but the answer could also in itself be be vague enough to where it's it, it, it's satisfying it satisfies your viewers because it would nothing satisfied anyone no anyone who watched prometheus was confused like okay so well, wait. i think you were i think you were but, supposed to be confused but um but even by the second movie you're like i still don't get it. i still don't understand <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not a huge I, I don't <sighs> i don't really get it i'm not i, I didn't dive like too deep first yeah, yeah, into yeah. all the aliens and stuff like that so i'm not you know up on everything but i do like the vague, I do like that universe and how they have different sections of it spinoffs. Well, thousands of years ago, like there was some alien, I, I can't, but it was so cool when they were searching, I remember them going over planets and then, and then this one planet was completely deserted and then they found like a structure yeah. that was built and it's like, who built, they have no idea. And it's, you know, hundreds of thousands of years old. They're like, who there's no record yeah, yeah. of any but I mean, like that kind of stuff is cool. Yeah, yeah, that like that cuz there you could do mystery like really well, but it's just like so like like the idea that I had like imagine just like like structures like cuz the you know they're they're entities so they they have unlimited brain power or whatever you want to call it. So they just build build these huge giant and say like you say like they got the energy, you could even do it like they – okay, well, you, you would need so much energy to create life itself or DNA itself or whatever. Or say like they, they were creating something like DNA, but it wasn't specifically DNA, and then it just evolved into DNA by itself, and then it got out of control, and then that's how they were overrun. Blah of fucking blah of blah, whatever. What, and then that's how Earth was created. Maybe like all those years ago, like they, they inhabited Earth, but it was just a solid rock, and then they, you know, they basically made it – you know, uh, uh, self-sustainable, and then maybe they left, or what? Whatever it could be, man, you could go nuts with it, and they didn't. <laughs> they didn't. Like this is this is where you could like without God just creating, you know, having that. You could go fucking nuts with it, and they just uh, some really tall humanoid-looking dudes. And they're always humanoid-looking, which is interesting. Yeah, th exactly. The... That's what I'm saying. So, like, have something. I don't fucking know. Yeah, out of all, but maybe that's why they kind of, we kind of resemble them is because we in that world came we from came them. from them. So yeah, yeah that yeah. makes sense. Or maybe yeah, m fuck it. Like maybe they use some of their the, as their physical as the spiritual entities or whatever. They use some of their uh, 
chemical makeup or or just or their uh entity essence or spiritual essence put it into the machines and like just just think about it like these huge giant just <coughs> mega really structures like huge, you really like huge giant mega structures i'm getting well uh, just because i mean i'm just thinking you know like what what like it, it would just be cool because and then those structures like they get smaller and then it just makes like dna and it's like we need those they need those the, the, like huge mega structures just to make a small strand of dna or something, you know, just because you're or like create it, yeah. But like, yeah, that, that'd be hard because I don't think they're the last. Like the engineers would be the la- like the thing that created everything, because like something obviously would have had to create them. So been or, or, yeah, or you, you that could, yet. yeah, I know you could go yet, like, so. but but it's just At least like because you could you could do that like okay all right we have those engineers in Prometheus but then like have like the lore is like oh no no, no there's uh, there's there's like uh like. Like they, yes, they were spiritual beings or whatever, or they're those beings, but then there was beings before them. And you could just, you could go like you, I mean, you don't have to do that. You could do that. You could, you could go so crazy with it. And they did a piss poor job. Like they, is it like, should we use our imagination to the fullest extent? Nah, nah, nah. Let's just be real plain with it and dumb. Ugh, ugh, ugh. It's disgusting. I kind of like when you, they leave it up to, uh, like the viewer's interpretation. And that's what, uh, have you seen the green Knight? There's a movie co- out called the green Knight. No, I think I heard of it. It sounds, I think I might've seen like a, I don't fucking, but it's pretty cool. It, I don't want to spoil too much of it, but it's, it's, um, has to do with like King Arthur, um, Max okay. the round table, but it's like a myth, like a mythological kind of world. You don't, uh, you don't know if this is happening in the person's head or if this is like huh. in, in the real, you know, in their universe. Um, but it's, 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 inter- it's a cool thing between, uh, between a person's choice and what they, um, what they do and the consequences of their choice and bravery and being a knight, what hmm. the ideal of being a knight is like, yeah, and, the, wow, that's interesting. Cause I don't think we've ever had, maybe there's probably some shows and movies out there that really go into what it was to be a knight. And yeah, like, I mean, yeah, this is like the, the whole idea of it being a knight, like the virtues you have to have, like honesty. Sure, 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 sure. Um, yeah, just uh, there's like five or six different virtues that like this guy gets tested in on his journey to whatever, you know, whatever he was doing. Knighthood. And, well, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I don't want to spoil too much of it, but like I, I would definitely once it comes out, out on streams or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Def- yeah definitely yeah, I'll have to look into that. It. It's pretty good. But that kind of thing is where it it goes un, a lot of the things go unsaid in that movie, and that's and fine. As, and, and you, that, well, and of course, viewer, you want to, yeah, yeah, of yeah. course, you want to have that. And the, so, but see, that's the whole thing. Like Lost, for me at least, Lost that showed Lost, they did that very well. They answered questions, but then they're like the more bigger questions, like, oh, are they dead? Uh, you know, are they in purgatory, or did they go to heaven, or whatever? Like certain things like that. That is that that's good to leave up to because everyone has different beliefs. See what I'm saying? But when it comes to like human origin, people want an answer. People want a de- they like uh, I mean uh, especially when it, like it's either god or evolution, but it, but it, when it comes to like either god or evolution, that's how we all came. There's nothing else. So you see what I'm saying? So it's like you could go nuts with it and people like that would want to hear something that's so different. You're like, "Oh my god, that's that's crazy how they thought that up." We have how many how many fucking awesome storylines that have been thought up in video games and movies? And then we have one of the one of the most popular movies, Alien and Aliens, and they they just shit on them. They, like they just like, eh, well, whatever. Like, dude, come on, you could have done they, who, you could have done so much. They could have they could have they oh uh, they could have really done a great job. Especially, I mean, like I said, with how good the the Alien. I mean, Alien Alien Three wasn't that good. Maybe. But it's a, it's it's a, it's a good friend like to explain how the xenomorph. Yeah, exactly, and exactly. And, and, and they they didn't do that. Good of a job. But, but they it. didn't even need to. They didn't even need to explain all that stuff, and then they did. So like, it's kind of a, I don't know. They, they, good, it, they kind know. of drop the ball on it a little bit, just a little bit. It, that's just my opinion. There might be people like, oh, I love the movie. I'm like, well, then you're just easily entertained, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Easily entertained. Um, I want to talk. Is there any games uh, specifically you want to talk about that you're playing right now? You um, said you got back into uh, Shadow. Yeah, Shadow of War. Uh, you know, it's just um, you know we it's, that's you know it's an older game and we all know about that game. But it was just you know it's just it's just really cool because um, we don't all know about it. I'm playing Watch Dogs Legion. I just beat that. And it's not an older game, but 
Well, no, out. it's just, you know, I, it, it's just because Shadow of War, I mean, that's a, it's just, I mean, it's, it's one of those games where you could go back and sit there just for hours and just kind of have a good time. If you're trying to blow off time or whatever, blow off some steam. And I, I, what I really love is you are incredibly overpowered, and I really, really like it. I really like that. I really, really like that. And then, of course, the storyline at the top. <sighs> storyline is so good. Because you it beat is. it, right? You beat the end. I beat, you, you... I beat the first and second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, okay, the second one, you beat it, but did you – so you have to keep defending the, the territories, and then there's more to the story after yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you did that. Okay. Because I didn't know that. I had no idea. I had no idea. Dude, the fact that Talion yeah, – because... Because you become one of the wraiths or whatever. The Nazgul. Yeah, Nazgul guy. Yeah, I was like, when I saw, because, you know, Kel Brimbor and Sauron, they're battling. And I love how Kel Brimbor and Talion, they start, they start arguing. And they start, they kind of grow apart. Because they, now, I wouldn't say they became friends, but they became, you know, like, but it, it just Kel Brimbor, he was so, he was so fixed on revenge that he, he kind of lost himself, even in the wraith form, I guess you could kind of say. Yeah. And he ended up going with that one chick, uh, Gladriel, is that her name, I think? Because she was – she wanted – she had – her and uh, Kem, Kella Brimbor, they had the same uh, 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 motive at the same – and then, you know, he – and then, you, like, Talion, when Kella Brimbor left Talion, you see his throat is – it's cut because that's how he died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he turns and he sees the the, the, the wraith ring or the and, – and he grabs it, puts it on, and then he's like – and it's really cool. Oh my god, it's really cool because the 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 DLC is uh, the Blades of uh, what's the fuck is her name? Gadriel or whatever. I can't remember her. I believe you know so. Yeah, yeah, you'll know but, way more about the names than I do. I mean, I played well, the game through once. And that was okay, it. well, the, so yeah, I'm, I'm guessing you didn't play the DLC, but the DLC, the the chick with the dual blades, yeah. you play as her, and you see her pers- you see Talion in her perspective, and how how truly powerful he is. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm like. I did like Dude. how the, the, the main character and the wraith that was inside of him, I like how their missions aligned yeah. for a, a while, and then they started, like, and they have their disagreements. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Caleb Brimbor, like, yeah, where they, yeah, through, when they yeah, split the whole, eventually. The, yeah, through the, through the whole game, they have their disagreements, but they still are. And that's where the audio cut out. I apologize. My computer froze. I have no idea why it does that. The power is still on, but the monitor cuts off. I have no idea. Trying to fix it, trying to figure out a way to double record it on both ends. And that way, if it happens again, we don't lose video and blah, 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 blah. But for this week, that's all I got. I apologize. And hopefully it will never happen again. You guys have a good week. I remember.